Okay, so I wanted to make a quick little video to show you one of the best tricks in creating your resume for formatting. Okay, you can format lots of different things this way to kind of make better use of your space. Um, and it's counterintuitive, right? So here we have uh, somebody's resume. This is not my resume. This is uh, Derek Zoolander's resume. Oh, I should put on here. Uh, started Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good, right? Uh, so this is Derek Zoolander's resume, and looking at this big list of bullet points, you know, they might all be relevant, but it's kind of, uh, it takes up a lot of space for the information that you're conveying. So one of the things I might ask you to do when I ask you to rework your resume is put uh, your skills into multiple columns. Now, what you might want to do is highlight that. Wait, if I can't highlight it. There we go. Uh, go over to page layout and go to columns and go to two, right? That didn't work at all. Uh, and if we keep adding things down here, yeah. Um, and a lot of times when it does work, it screws up whatever else you try to do afterwards. That is not the optimal way to put things into columns. I know it has columns right there in the page layout. It doesn't work well. The best way to do it is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a table with I'm going to do three columns just to be as efficient as possible. I'm going to cut the first section there and paste it into the table. Cut the second section there and paste it into the table cut the third section and paste it into the table. Now I have three columns and I can really play around with, oh, you know what? This one needs to be longer so I can move that over or I can play with the space over here um, and I can move everything around inside the table. Then what you do is you, you highlight the table and go to table tools design and border wait no it is yeah under borders we want to choose no border boom so it's still in a table but it's an invisible table i can still manipulate everything exactly the way i want um now i can have one two three four as many columns as works best with the information i'm putting in there um i can even have a blank column in the middle and keep them off to the sides if that's what looks best for you uh, so this gives you a lot of control over where everything is. Don't use the page layout. Use a table and then remove the border from the table. If you have any questions, shoot me an email.